never going camping again for a while now. Blair Witch is back, directed and written by the two guys who brought you your next and The Guest, both phenomenal horror thriller movies that everyone should watch. Now, how does Blair Witch, the brought back from one of the biggest horror found footage movies ever created that was a game changer back in the day, how does it hold up? You know, it's been a while since we've actually gotten a sequel. Book of Shadows does not count, by the way. But, how does this hold up? Blair Witch, I will start out with my cons first because it's not that many. As I will say is that this movie was called The Woods and now it's called Blair Witch. Biggest surprise at Comic-Con and now people are talking about how, wow, this is phenomenal. A lot of people are really liking it. If you've liked the original Blair Witch, it's been very different. And for me, this is me, my cons. Very little, but some of them really do hit. There aren't going to be no spoilers. I'm going to try not to spoil as much or anything as possible. So be warned, I might slip, might not. But overall, I'm not going to give away the big moments in this movie. So my few cons are, at first, I will say that the movie overall is a kind of a rehash of the original. So if you've seen the original, don't expect a lot of changes. But that last 15 minutes and some of the little moments in between are incredibly different. And that last 15 minutes is one of my biggest pros that I will get to in a second. Also, cons as well. Some of the characters... As much as the acting does, by the end, everyone is acting at their full level and everyone is doing a fantastic job. In the beginning, I wasn't really into them besides the main characters. The Besides the main two characters. The girl and the guy, the brother of Heather from the original, and I can barely remember the names because they're not really that memorable. There are some scenes in this movie where I was like, Ed, you could have just taken that out, didn't really need it. I know you're trying to build up the characters, but I don't really care, to be honest. I think the beginning was a little too slow getting into the whole pacing of Blair Witch, but as much as these characters did overact overall in some parts, they did do a great job, and that goes to my pro. The last biggest damn complaint I had about this movie that I have to do with any horror movie, the damn jump scares. I am totally fine with you throwing in one or two jump scares. Totally fine. And especially if those jump scares are a little dumb. Maybe someone popping out and whatnot. But I'm not joking. I probably counted six or seven times where someone jumped out and said, Hi hey guys, what's up? And scared the living hell out of the character. Why the hell is everyone saying hi or jumping and scaring people? Like, that's not scary. That doesn't stick with me. But... And the other thing is that they, they, when they'd switch cameras, they would make this stupid sound, and it was just too loud. And I get it, the sound, it kind of goes back to the original Blair Witch, which gave you those cheap jump scares then. But this is modern technology, we don't need those sounds there. But, let me get into this movie now. My pros for this, one of the pro and kind of con, it kind of goes for a logic reason, is that there is a twist in the movie. And when that twist happens, if you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. It's right there in front of you, and you have to catch it right when you see it, or else you missed it. What I will say is that the twist in this movie is a pro and a con to me. I really liked what they did. I thought it was smart, and it kind of leaves an open ending. But for my logic reason, for my head, it doesn't let me process it right. It doesn't sit well with me. As much as I really liked what they did, I wasn't sitting well with it because I was like, I don't get that, but at the same time I do, and it's very open-ending, and I think that if they were to do a sequel and explain that maybe a little bit more, a little more detail, I think I would understand the logical reason behind it, and that is what this movie does great. One of my pros is that it does leave an open-ending. It can make you think and have different theories and suggestions for your friends to discuss and whatnot, but it will also have suggestions for you to say you could do a sequel and explain that and do it better and finally end it well. Because I think this movie doesn't give you the satisfaction that maybe you wanted from seeing, you know, it comes back from the first one. You don't get that ending that you would like, okay, I'm, I feel relieved. I get to know the story more. I will say there are some things in here where they build to the mythology and that it really does well work. It builds to some of the stuff of how, how them describing the witch through the folklore and stuff that the first one did not bring us. And I think the description of the witch really burns that imagery in your head and gives you chills down your back. Because I'm getting chills just thinking about what the imagery they gave. And that is a great thing that the director and the writer did. 
the, the writer gave such good imagery for the director to take and build into his movie. And that is a great job is why they're a great pairing. Is because as you see through this movie, the imagery and you can tell from the trailers, as much as it is a found footage, some of the imagery and the scary moments in this movie are terrifying. The last 15 minutes, like I mentioned earlier, are some of the most terrifying moments I've ever seen in a movie in a very long time. B locked me in, strapped me in, and made me focus straight on the screen. And as much as I said that this movie does start off slow, the whole time I was watching this movie, I was like, yeah, it's like a C, C minus. The acting's good, this is good. But it's pretty much just a retread. That last 15 minutes, sold me forward and i was like damn as much as some of that last 15 minutes 15 minutes they did kind of take from the original it did hold me in and strap me in and kept me entertained the whole time the story did keep me entertained even though some of it was predictable and some of it wasn't i think there were some opportunities that they did miss but you know i could i can't say that i did not enjoy this film because i really did enjoy it now if you're not a big fan of found footage or blair witch in general i don't think this is the movie for you but if you're intrigued by the idea want to see what this movie is all about maybe you're in the hype or maybe you're a big blair witch fan or maybe you like found footage in general i think this is a film that you should go and take and if you don't like blair witch the original at all it is very hard for me to recommend this film to you but if you're saying hey you know they have better technology better sound design better everything overall and maybe they can make a better version of that movie then maybe you should go give it a shot and see if you do are a fan of it now because i think that's what this movie did great it is it built on that mythology introduces you to everything and brings you straight in now just know going in this film it is more of an atmospheric movie it's one of those movies that makes you not want to go camping is it does it stick with you when you go home a little bit some of the imagery did stick with me when i got home but overall i've been sleeping fine i'm not that scared i'm not terrified at all to go home and whatnot but uh, camping wise i don't think i could go camping now blair witch i will be giving it a b minus i think blair witch is a fan is one of the best horror movies this year i think this movie has had this year has had a great year for horror and for me i do think blair witch yes i gave it a b minus but i understand if you do not like it i think there's reasons for people to say their pros and cons to it i'm just curious to see what you guys think down below in the comments make sure to like this video subscribe check out my other reviews on my channel and also guys thank you so much for supporting me and watching this channel look out for very much more details soon i'm gonna try and get my snowden review to you guys on sunday i hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching <laughs>